आदाब नमस्कार क्यू एन आप सभी का स्वागत करता है और मैं हूं आंचल मिस्किन दोस्तों हम आज आप सभी के सामने फिर एक बार एक एक्सपर्ट को लेकर हाजिर हुए हैं ये एक्सपर्ट को लेकर आपके सामने आने का मकसद ये है ताकि सेहत से जुड़ी जो कहीं ना कहीं मिथ्स हैं फैक्ट्स हैं अगर हम कहें कि एक ओवरऑल इन्फॉर्मेशन या अवेयरनेस है वो आप में बढ़े तो इसी पर्पस के लिए हम हर बार एक एक्सपर्ट को लेके आते हैं और चंद सवाल के जरिए आप तक जो एक ज़रूरी इन्फॉर्मेशन है वो पहुंचाने की कोशिश करते हैं तो इसी सिलसिले में आज जिस मेहमान को हमने यहाँ इन्वाइट किया है जिन एक्सपर्ट को इन्वाइट किया है उनका नाम है डॉक्टर शमसुल बारी और ये हैं जनरल एंड लेप्रोस्कोपिक सर्जन स्किम्स मेडिकल कॉलेज बेमिना में तो दोस्तों चलिए हम हमारी बातचीत का सिलसिला शुरू करते हैं पर उससे पहले हम उनका स्वागत करते हैं डॉक्टर साहब आपका क्यू एन टीवी के स्टूडियो में बहुत बहुत स्वागत है थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच चलिए हम हमारी जो थोड़ी बहुत बातचीत है जिसमें हम कोशिश करेंगे कि लोगों तक अवेयरनेस एक, एक थोड़ा फैले उस सिलसिले में बातचीत शुरू करते हैं हम बातचीत शुरू करें हम आपको बताएं कि आज इनके साथ हमारा जो टॉपिक ऑफ कंसर्न रहेगा वो रहेगा अपेंडिक्स से जुड़ा जुड़ा हुआ और अपेंडिसाइटिस जो एक मेन प्रॉब्लम है उससे जुड़ा हुआ तो हमारे आज के सारे सवाल जो होंगे उसी के इर्द गिर्द होंगे तो डॉक्टर साहब जैसे मैंने अभी कहा सबसे पहले आप अपेंडिक्स के बारे में बताइए इस ऑर्गन के बारे में बताइए क्योंकि अगर आप जिनको अपेंडिक्स के बारे में पता होगा ना वो कहते हैं कि एक बेकार ऑर्गन है यूजलेस ऑर्गन है तो इसके बारे में बताइए और इसके होने का पर्पस बताइए जी 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 देखिए हम सबको ये जानना चाहिए कि अब के अंदर वे हैव टू इंटस्टैन एक है स्मॉल इंटस्टैन फिर है लार्ज इंटस्टैन और जहाँ पर ये दोनों इंटस्टैन जुड़ते हैं मिलते हैं एक दूसरे से वहाँ पर एक और स्ट्रक्चर है विच ऑफ द शेप ऑफ और फिंगर दैट स्ट्रक्चर इज नॉन एज अपेंडिक्स तो सो ये अपेंडिक्स इज यू फाउंड एट द जंक्शन ऑफ ईलियो सिकल जंक्शन ईलियम पार्ट ऑफ स्मॉल इंडस्टाइन है और सिकम पार्ट ऑफ लार्ज इंडस्टाइन है सो इट्स यूजली फाउंड एट द ईलियो सिकल रीजन जैसे मैंने बताया इसका साइज तकरीबन इट्स ऑफ द साइज ऑफ फिंगर बट इट कैन वेरी मे बी इवन स्मॉलर देन दैट मे बी थ्री सेंटीमीटर फोर इट कैन गो अपू टेन सेंटीमीटर ऑल्सो so now as far as the function is concerned yes it, it is being said it's a vestigial organ that is mm. no function but see in the wall of this 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 appendix we have a tissue what is known as lymphoid tissue hm ye lymphoid tissue ek sa tissue hai jiska role hai immunity develop karne mein isme koi cells ban jati hai which help us to fight against infections hm so the lymphoid tissue it has a role but since so lymphoid tissue is found at other place also so if, if even if we remove this appendix it is not going to matter much okay yeah ab surgeries ke liye bahar jaane ki zarurat nahi kyunki wadi ka pehla super specialty hospital medicare kaksarai chowk srinagar mein shuru hua hai jisko mulk ke kuch namwar hospitals ke sath compare kiya ja sakta hai medicare hospital mein sare operation theaters mein equipments aur modules 100% germany imported hai yahan sath bed life saving equipments imported semen ventilators ke sath sath bachchon ke वेंटिलेटर्स की सहूलत भी दस्तियाब है हर वार्ड खासकर पेशेंट रूम में ऑक्सीजन सप्लाई बेड के साथ ही लगी है ऑपरेशन थिएटर और आईसीयू में लेमन फ्लो एयर कंडीशन सिस्टम के साथ मौजूद है इसके अलावा पैट स्कैन न्यूक्लियर गामा कैमरा थ्री टेस्ला एमआरआई, लैब फैसिलिटी के अलावा क्वालिटी मेडिसिन फार्मेसी काउंटर पर दस्तियाब है खासकर कार पार्किंग भी मौजूद है तो याद रखें मेडिकेयर सुपर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल काकसराय चौक श्रीनगर नजदीक एसएमएचएस हॉस्पिटल अब इसी से जुड़ा एक बहुत ही कॉमन प्रॉब्लम है जहां पे इसके रिमूवल की बात आती है दैट इज अपेंडिसाइटिस इसका कॉज क्या है देखिए पहले मैं ये बात बताऊँ लोगों में गलत तासर है वो कह रहे हैं की इसको अपेंडिक्स है अरे भाई अपेंडिक्स हर किसी में अपेंडिक्स है अपेंडिक्स ये बीमारी नहीं है ये ऑर्गन है इट्स नॉर्मल ऑर्गन कश्मीर को बोलते हैं परंद्र इट्स परंद्र हां ये तो हर किसी में परंद्र इसको इसलिए बोलते हैं क्योंकि ये जो छोटा और बड़ा अंदर है ना ये इंटेस्टाइन है इसके ऊपर चढ़ता है इसके बाहर आता है दैट्स व्हाई इट्स नॉन परंद्र सो परंद्र या अपेंडिक्स इज अ नॉर्मल स्ट्रक्चर बट इफ देयर ऑकर्स एनी डिजीज इसमें कभी भी बीमारी पैदा होती है इंफेक्शन होता है उसको बोलते हैं अपेंडिसाइट्स सो वी कैन से कि एम शो ही हैज अ इंफेक्शन ऑफ द अपेंडिक्स सो हैज अ अपेंडिसाइट्स सो व्हाइज देयर इज अ इंफेक्शन और इन्फ्लेमेशन ऑफ द अपेंडिक्स दैट वी नोन एज अपेंडिसाइट्स अदरवाइज अपेंडिक्स एज सच इज अ नॉर्मल ऑर्गन 
It is at present almost every patient. Mm. Even sometimes it, it, there may be even two also. Okay. Yeah. Two. Very, but very, very rare. That's absolutely rare. That's okay. 0 0 Very, very, very rare. Yes. Okay. So now the question is: Why does this appendicitis occur? Ha. Uh -huh. Yes. See, to be frank enough, exact etiology is not known. Exact cause is not known. But different factors have been put forward. One, two, three. Number one is the change in the lifestyle, change the dietary habits. Mm. Usually, those who are constipated. Constipated. Yeah, they can have. They have, they have more chance of getting these these appendicitis because because I will tell you why. Because huh. usually there is an obstruction of the lumen. Your appendix it is a very very th a narrow lumen. Okay. Of the size of mastic. It's not chota lumen. Acha. So it can easily get obstructed. Okay. See, there's a since there's a lymphoid show, there's a mucosa in the in the in the appendix. There's a continuous secretion of the mucus. Hmm. So once this continuous secretion, it flows into the large bowel. Hmm. But once there's an obstruction because of any reason. Hmm. It gets inflamed. Now, why should there be obstruction? As I said, number one, it can be because of uh, some fecolith. That's fecolith. I mean to say, a hard stool is formed, a small bit of hard that blocks the opening of this appendix. Okay. So once it's a block, secretions get accumulated and they later get infected. Okay. So one is hard fecolith. Second, you can have sometimes foreign body. Foreign body. Yeah. Suppose if we take vegetables. Right. There are a lot of seeds on some vegetables. Sometimes these seeds may not get digested. For example, ladyfinger? It can be a simple apple. Okay. Lady finger, simple apple because there are a lot, lot of seeds in that. Oranges for that matter? Of course, oranges also, okay. yes. So oranges, uh, ladyfingers, or apple, whatever mm. you say. Well, any, any fruit which has seeds. Mm -hmm. So sometimes these seeds may not get digested. Mm. So when they may not get digested, once they are reached to ileocecal value, because there is a variation in the lumen between mm. cecum and ileum. So it stays there for some time. Okay. Some it can slip into the into the opening of the appendix and block that. Okay. So you can have fecolith, you can have a foreign body. Okay. Sometimes you can have even sometimes sometimes some children may swallow some of these um, what what are known as these needles. They can also cause obstruction. Uh, they uh, uh, swallow, yes. What? Needle, needle. Needle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how is that possible? Yes, why not? We can I can show X-rays. People have swallow, swallow, swallow this, swallow, and this, swollen these needles as well. Okay. Yes, on X-ray you can easily see those needles. Okay. Yes. And yes, then there can be roundworm infections. Okay. Yes, because these worms can also block the duct and lead to obstruction. So these are some common causes of the of the of the appendicitis. Okay. Yes. Uh, is there any stages uh, of yeah. uh, going to? Yeah, there's a progress. It progresses slowly. See, initially, once there's infection, the infection. It, now it depends upon the type of appendicitis. See, actually, there are two types of appendicitis. One is obstructive, and second is non-obstructive. Mm. Obstruction, as, as I said, that it is because of the obstruction of the lumen of the appendix. So, and second is non obstruction why there is no obstruction, hmm. but there is an infection, infection and that leads to appendicitis. Right. So, it starts usually from the inner layer of the appendix, what is known as mucosa. So, initially it is confined to mucosa. Now, if the, uh, if, if the patient does not come to clinician or if it is not diagnosed, hmm. what happens is infection goes to outer layers, hmm. in all the submucosa and then all the muscle layer of this, and once it goes outside, it can, there occurs edema. It compress upon the venous drainage. See, mm. there are veins as arteries. Those veins which drain the blood away from the appendix, mm. they get blocked and compressed because of edema. Mm. So when, once this, this, this venous drainage is blocked, so this appendix becomes dilated, it becomes congested, it becomes severely inflamed. Mm -hmm. And that stage is known as phlegmon. Mm -hmm. Fine. Now, as the disease further progresses, as the infection further progresses, they are now compressed on the arteries, hmm. because the artery wall is very thick. Hmm. So it takes time for the arteries to be blocked. Hmm. So once the arterial wall gets compressed, the blood supply to the appendix gets compromised. Hmm. Because of decreased blood supply, there are ischemia of the appendix. There are decreased blood supply. Hmm. There are necrosis, gangrene, and perforation. Okay. And that's the last stage. And if there are perforation, that will lead you to peritonitis, which can um, sometimes, sometimes be very fatal for the patient. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what are the symptoms that can show that a person is heading towards appendicitis? Yeah, so that's the clinical features. Right. See, majority of the patients start with the pain. Mm -hmm. And many of the patients say that their pain is around umblax. Okay. Umblax is uh, if... It's the center of the abdomen. What is, okay. known, what is known as button of the abdomen. Okay. Okay, now the question is why pain in the when, when appendix is located uh, uh, in the right lower abdomen? Right. Then why pain in the around central uh, abdomen? Around the, around the black, why in the center of the abdomen? Hmm. It's because of same nerve supply. So the supp nerve supply is same at the center of the abdomen and the appendix. Hmm. So usually patients with the pain, this may be followed by vomiting 
and then fever. Okay. These three things are together known as known as Murphy's triad. In Asian, there are other symptoms also. They will have loss of appetite, they will have body pains, they will have palestral pain increases. Depends the stage at which the patient is diagnosed. But initially, they start with pain or an umbilicus, which later gets localized to the right lower abdomen, along with the vomiting and the fever. Okay. Yeah. से जूझ रहे मरीज अब लेंगे राहत की सांस जदीद तरीन लेजर टेक्नोलॉजी की मदद से बवासीर का 100 फीसद कामयाब इलाज इस अमल के दौरान नहीं पेन और न ब्लड लॉस का एहतमाल रहता है मरीज दो या तीन दिन में बिल्कुल ठीक हो जाता है पायलट से हमेशा के लिए छुटकारा चाहते हों तो फौरन इन नंबर आरोप डॉक्टर साहब ऐसी बात करें एंड uh, अगर हम डॉक्टर साहब ट्रीटमेंट की बात कर रहे हैं तो ट्रीटमेंट का प्रोसीजर इसका क्या है क्या नॉर्मली एक चीज़ एसोसिएटेड है कि इट हैज़ टू बी ऑपरेटेड क्या एक मेडिकेशन से सर्जरीज को अवॉइड किया जा सकता है सी प्रीवियसली द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ चॉइस फॉर अपेंडिसाइड्स वाज रिमोल बट नाउ द ट्रेंड इज टूवर्ड्स द कंजर्वेटिव मैनेजमेंट that we treat them with the medicine only but again it depends upon the stage at which the patient presents now it is at the initial stage where there is a minimal inflammation okay. we can at attempt the drugs we can attempt uh, some medicines mm -hmm. so that the pain gets relieved so that the infection gets relieved mm -hmm. but if the patient has come at the late stage of the uh, of the then disease it needs to be then there is no other way but to but to go for surgery okay now but it is very important to remember that the treatment of, uh, of appendicitis in children and adults is little bit different yeah i was about to ask yeah. this question ki uh, jo appendicitis hai iska treatment hai ya whatever the whole procedure goes adults or children mein kya difference yeah, yeah. hai see as i told you that one is there's an infection of the appendix there's a there's a momentum in the in, in the abdominal cavity is is a large sheet of uh, fat one should say which is just like a curtain so mm. anywhere when infection occurs at any place in the in the in the abdomen mm. it goes towards that area mm. to localize the infection mm. so it is aim it is function is to restrict the infection so the infant does not spread mm. this omentum is fully developed in case of adults mm. but it is not fully developed in case of children mm. so in children what happens since the since the since the omentum is not fully developed mm. so if the infection becomes severe there are very high chances that this appendix can perforate and can lead to peritonitis mm. yes but one more thing is that now we have to remember that it again depends on when a patient presents to you because mm. management depends on mm. if the patient present in the initial stage of the then disease then it can be treated now it depends again if it is very mild you can we can treat but as i said that uh, as the infection progresses it involves whole of the appendix and god forbid in some cases as i said it can perforate and can lead to peritonitis mm. but there are some lucky patients as well mm. as i said that there is omentum so once omentum comes around the appendix it localizes the infection so there is a formation of a mass mm. in the right iliac fossa that mass consists of appendix in the center surrounded by a small bowel and the large bowel and the omentum so it becomes an appendicular lump mm. it usually occurs if the treatment is delayed by more than 72 hours okay. so if the treatment is delayed for more than 72 hours in some lucky patients is a formation of the appendicular lump but in some patients it may perforate and can lead to peritonitis okay. now if there is a lump formation we cannot operate mm -hmm. we have to put the patient on a conservative lime management we have to put them on iv line we have to put them on iv antibiotics we have to monitor their vitals we have to have a repeat ultrasounds to see what is happening to the lump mm. is the lump size same is it decreasing or is there any pus formation mm. abscess formation now if the lump size is decreasing and patient is showing a relief in the symptoms mm. he is improving day by day then we will continue the same line of management mm. maybe for two weeks three weeks then after two or three weeks we tell them that they will have to go for a surgery late maybe after six weeks okay but if the ultrasound shows no is a abscess formation is a mm. pus formation we need to train that Hmm. So it depends how the patient responds. So we can go either for conservative line management, or if the lump formation is there, if there's abscess, we have to drain that, and later on we can go for interval appendectomy. Hmm. And if there's a lump formation, we have to wait and watch hmm. till the lump resolves, and later on after six weeks, patient will need a appendectomy. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, if uh, we talk about uh, the percentage of uh, the occurrence of this uh, appendicitis, ये ज़्यादा बच्चों में होता है या in adults? See. Before two years, it is very very rare. Before two years, two years, okay. Yeah, very less, uh, very less uh, common as compared to other. But 
Usually it's a middle age, 20 to 40 years where we find maximum number of cases of appendicitis. Okay. Yeah, 20 to 40 years of age. Most of the patients come in the age group of 20 to 40 years, but it can be earlier also, it can be late also. Now, one more thing, if the patient is more than 40 or 50 years of age mm -hmm. and he comes to us with a pain and there's a lump formation, it's very important to rule out say colon because patients with cancer colon can also sometimes present with appendicitis and in those cases they need further evaluation in the form of CT scan, in the form of colonoscopy mm. to rule out any colonic volume. Only once we are sure that there is no colonic issue then we can think about appendicitis and further management. If a person doctor uh, wants to avoid any sort of inflammation and uh, or infection in appendix mm. What are the precautionary measures that a healthy person can take to avoid any such extremities? See, as I said, there is no definite uh, management for that. But what one should do, avoid taking purgatives, which cause lo and this, uh, loose stools, avoid constipation, take a high Neither loose nor diet. Not have, yes. Okay. You have to take a balanced diet. Okay. Both proteins as well as fiber diet. Okay. So that there is no neither a constipation nor diarrhea. And if at any stage of life they feel that they are feeling some symptoms, they should immediately rush to the clinician so that he can diagnose them at the right place before further complications can occur. Okay. दोस्तों अगर आप किसी भी तरह की दर्द जैसे माइग्रेन, लोअर बैक एक, नेक एंड अपर बैक एक, कैंसर और उसकी ट्रीटमेंट से जुड़े दर्द, न्यूरोपैथिक पेन, माइोफेशियल पेन्स, शाटिका, माइग्रेन जैसे दर्दों से परेशान हैं तो उसके इलाज के लिए और इंट्रा मस्कुलर स्टिमुलेशन यानी आईएमएस चाइनीज एक्यूपंक्चर जैसे मॉडर्न टेक्निक्स का फायदा के लिए आप मिल सकते हैं डॉक्टर मोहम्मद यूसुफ से जो हैं कंसल्टेंट पैलिएटिव फिजिशियन सीनियर एक्यूपंक्चरिस्ट अवेयरनेस एंबेसडर एनपीएसी यूएसए मेंबर ऑफ इंडियन सोसाइटी फॉर स्टडी ऑफ पेन और मेंबर ऑफ एसोसिएशन ऑफ पैलिएटिव केयर तो डॉक्टर साहब से आप अपने दर्द के साथ मिलिए और वापस मुस्कुराते हुए जाइए और साथ ही पेन किलर्स को कहिए बाय बाय इसके लिए आप इनसे मिल सकते हैं इस एड्रेस पे एड्रेस है मेडिकेयर हॉस्पिटल काकसराय करण नगर श्रीनगर और आप कांटेक्ट कर सकते हैं इन नंबर्स पे नंबर्स हैं सिक्स डबल जीरो डबल सिक्स वन टू जीरो एट थ्री और सिक्स डबल जीरो डबल सिक्स वन टू जीरो Eight four. So, uh, for example, if uh, my purpose of asking you about the diet is because you said that the problem is mainly uh, hota hai on the basis of how we keep our gut health yeah. healthy, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. that depends on uh, our consumption. Yeah. So, uh, what are the things that are needed to be eliminated to keep our gut health? healthy in an overall way okay, fine fine as i said that we need to take a balanced diet right it should have it should, it should, uh, a person should take good amount of fiber hmm. he should take protein he should take a lot of fluids hmm. he should be mobile hmm. it's not that they should be they should not have a sedentary lifestyle hmm. exercise more yeah they should be very active they should huh. go for exercise they should go for good uh, morning maybe morning or evening and they should take a lot of fluids hmm. they should they should also they should also try to avoid those substances which can cause more constipation. And as I said, once, once they take some of these uh, fruits or whatever, it is important that they digest them properly. Achha. They eat, just eat slowly and digest them properly. Okay. Yeah. So that no hard material enters in the bowl which can cause the obstruction of the lumen, such as seeds. Okay. Yeah. So our last question of one our... Word, one word, uh, one, uh, as far as pregnancy is concerned. Sometimes okay. pregnant females can also have this appendicitis. While uh, having babies in yeah, their yeah, belly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is very important in them to be very... Uh, to diagnose this appendicitis. Because the reason is that, see, once there's a uh, pregnant female, the size of the uterus increases. Right. So, yeah. So the appendix is pushed up. It is pushed away from its normal location. So sometimes the, they can get misdiagnosed. Okay. We feel that they have a uterine pain, they are getting contractions. Co contractions, yeah. right. Rather they may have appendicides. Achha. So it's very important that we pick up them at the right time mm -hmm. because if they progress as, as I said to the stage of perforation and pitonus, they can have, they can go into abortion. And um, how, if a woman is uh, heading towards her uh, third, fourth or fifth week and she experiences this problem, yeah. what are the procedures taken? See, as I, in it's, it can... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Take a as toll I said, on the that they should immediately well. um, report to the hospital. They should 
she should put on treatment mm. on antibiotics and they should be um, this monitor very very keenly their pulse rate should not increase their fever should not increase the tenderness should not increase because if you treat them in the first trimester that is first four uh, months the 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 morbidity rate and mortality rate is very very low okay yeah so we need to diagnose them as soon as possible if we wait, if it goes to the stage two, stage three, then at that then there's a very high chance of abortion. Uh, is this a frequent phenomenon or it happens rarely among? It is. It, it have, uh, We see these patients once in a month. A pregnant female with coming come with, coming with the pain in the right leg force or right upper abdomen and diagnosed the case of appendicitis. We do see these cases. Okay. And the majority of the patients, we have treated them conservatively. Okay. I remember one case which we recently I, um, I had to operate. But she did not respond to conjugal mm -hmm. We had to, oh. operate and then she had terminated the pregnancy as well. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So it yes. can be that severe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's serious. Because we have, we have to get anesthesia. You have to do drugs. Drugs can have a very right. um, uh, fatal effect on the fetus. So particularly, what? Particularly in the first trimester. So, uh, what are the suggestions that? being an expert you can give to a woman who is heading towards pregnancy. Are there any precautionary measures that yeah, can be taken? As we don't have any precaution, but if they feel that they are, uh, that, that they are getting pain at unusual location, mm. as far as the brain scan is unusual location, then they should report a collision so that he can, easily, he can diagnose and advise the subsequent treatment. Okay. Yeah. So as far as our last question is concerned, आप हमारे viewers को क्या message देना चाहेंगे कि वो अपने इस organ का ध्यान रखें and उसे monitor करें और इसे उस हद तक ना जाने दें कि फिर ये आपके लिए fatal हो। आप लोगों के लिए क्या message देंगे? So मैं लोगों को यही बताऊंगा कि जैसे उन्हें लगेगा कि that patient has pain in the right lower abdomen, right lower abdomen. Uh, there's a tenderness as that that is once they try to touch the, that area they feel pain they should immediately report the doctor without any delay because if they come on, come to the doctor at the early stages they can be even treated with drugs only but if they delay it then there are th two things as i said either the infection can progress and lead to god forbid peritonitis and second that uh, or there's a lump formation, there's a particular lump, and then later on, once there's a lump formation, the treatment gets very much delayed. They have to be in the hospital on IV line for maybe five days, 10 days, 12 days, 15 days till they respond. And if there's abscess formation, that has to be trained surgically. Okay. And as far as management is concerned, as we forgot, I forgot to tell you that previously we used to open appendectomy, open surgery for this. But nowadays, laparoscopy appendectomy is done mm. widely all over the world. That's very safe, very quick. And that is, it has advantage as well as compared to the open, okay. particularly in a young females, mm. females in a reproductive age group, mm. because you know, pain in the right lower abdomen in a female is sometimes suspicious. Mm. It is sometimes very difficult to diagnose whether it's really appendicitis or something else, because sometimes there can be a cyst in the ovary, and there can be torsion of the ovary and cyst. Okay. That can also present the same features. So we many times misdiagnose them. So. Uh, so if we go for diagnostic laparoscopy, we can easily pick up whether mm. it's appendicitis or it's a torsion of the cyst. Mm. Then one more advantage of laparoscopy is obese patients. Mm. Because in obese patients, once we have to operate, we need to give a very big incision. Mm. Very big incision. Maybe 5 cm, 6 cm. Okay. But if you go for laparoscopy, well, we give just two, uh, 1 cm, 3 inches at different places and patient gets treated. Okay. So I think laparoscopy has advantage over the open. But sometimes, sometimes in some cases, la, particularly those patients where, who are not fit for general anesthesia, hmm. who may have to go for open, because in this laparoscopy is usually done under general anesthesia. Hmm. But open can be done even under spinal anesthesia. Okay. So if there's a contraindication general anesthesia, we can try open, open appendicitis. Okay. Yeah. तो दोस्तों जैसे कि आपने सुना डॉक्टर साहब ने जो आपको पॉइंट्स बताए आप उसे आप उसे सुने आप उसे ध्यान में रखें सो so, अगर आपको कोई उसी से एसोसिएटेड कोई प्रॉब्लम फील होती है तो बिना समय गवाए बिना सेल्फ डायग्नोसिस के आप फटाफट से एक्सपर्ट के पास जाएं क्योंकि एक एक्सपर्ट के अलावा आपकी बेहतर मदद और कोई नहीं कर सकता तो डॉक्टर साहब आपका बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया कि आपने समय निकाला और हमारे व्यूवर्स को आपने एक extensive tarike se is bare mein jankari di thank you so much for uh, taking out time out of your busy schedule and uh, giving us some time so that we can spread awareness amongst our thank viewers thank you so much for inviting me for this program i am highly thankful thank you so much sir thank you to dosto aap baaki khabron ke liye bane rahiye qns tv ke sath aur mujhe dijiye ijazat namaskar